you also did an episode of Ellen. Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm -hmm. like? Well, I went and I did a, a, a reading and an audition for that one. And uh, uh, I just read a, a scene early on in the script. And I didn't know what the storyline was until I actually got the script. And then I was kind of horrified. And I, I don't think I was any good in it at all because, at least in the last scene, because I, it made me so embarrassed. It was about um, a friend of, of Ellen's parents videotaping themselves having sex. And then the, there's a mistaken thing where she gets the tape, you know, and, and she puts it in her tape recorder and she's seeing her friend. With her. Well, doing the scene, of course, you didn't see anything. And, but the, the inference was so embarrassing to me that I, I just kind of wanted to die. But uh, Ellen, I really liked Ellen DeGeneres. I think I'm so proud of her and I'm so pleased that she has persevered, <laughs> gone through so much, and now she's so big, and I'm, uh, I think she's hilariously funny, and she was wonderful to work with. She knows what she does best. She's good at it, and I really, she's a nice person. I really liked her. And it was, uh, except for the content of that scene, I think it was, um, uh, the rest of the show was fine, and I, I really liked working with her very, very much. That's very nice. Um, friends. An episode of that early in the run of that show. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Uh, well, it was the episode called uh, the one that Nana, the the one where Nana dies twice, and strangely enough, I was asked to go on the reading about not more than a week after my mother died. My mother was called Nana, and after I did the reading, I went out in the hallway to leave and. Of course, you don't get the script before you go. They hand you it, and then you go in and you read it, and then you leave. So it was kind of a, one of those instant things. When I came out in the hallway, I burst into tears. Uh, I had not been here when my mother died. I was in New York helping a son with a new baby, a son and his wife with their new baby. And she, my mother was 97, and she fell asleep. And my husband, Louis Genovino, found her in her apartment because he was watching over her. She lived alone, she, by her choice, still on her own. She was, fell asleep reading a book, a little cookie next to her, went to sleep. Anyway, I had never had the, the process that you, that you will go through with, with someone who's ill and dies. Um, so it hit me that day, and I burst into tears. I got home, uh, found that I had got the part, and told my agent what had happened, and he said, well, you know, you don't have to do it you, if you don't want to do it. And I said, no, mother would want me to do it. So I did. And I'm uh, kind of sorry I did because I was, once again, I was dragging this baggage with me, and I don't think I was very good, and I don't think that the director, um, Burroughs, was directing it. And, uh, Jim Burroughs, and I think he was kind of, didn't like what I was doing at all. I didn't like what I was doing. I just, I just couldn't, couldn't get rid of me. You know, I couldn't get into the character. Did my best, and that's, that's all. But at that point in time, I thought, well, now, Harry's gone, my mother's gone, and I don't really have to do this anymore. And I pretty much, at that time, just kind of let acting, let show me. Now, that's not to say I haven't done it since, but pretty much I only do what Eleanor wants to do <laughs> as far as work goes.